Hey, my name is Mike, and in this video, I want to list some things that are changing with the Battle for Azeroth expansion. As with each expansion, there are numerous changes, so I won't be going over everything, just some of the things that I thought would benefit returning players or people out of the beta loop. Really quick, probably the most known changes are that the level cap is increasing to 120 and allied races are now a thing. These are sub races that have prerequisites for unlocking. Currently both Alliance and Horde have three with plans for more in the future. BFA brings with it the second stat squish in WoW's history. In game, I was almost fully geared in the latest mythic raid gear with an item level of 970 and 6.57 million HP as DPS. With the squish, my item level has dropped to 248 and my health to 32k. At max level as a DPS in almost all heroic dungeon gear, I'm sitting at 323 item level and 98.4k health. There's been a couple profession changes as well. Obtaining points in your professions is no longer one giant level like 1 to 800. Instead, it's now split up into expansions. So for example, cooking, you now have Legion cooking, Draenor cooking, Pandaren cooking, and so on, and you can level these separately. The other profession change is that first aid is no longer a profession on its own. It is now part of tailoring. Any first aid achievements you had can now be found under the professions window in the legacy tab. Legion artifacts have been retired. There's a quest you do before you get into BFA content that drains the power from your artifact making all the abilities in the talent tree unusable as well as removing the abilities from the relics you have. However, the artifact system has lived on and been tweaked in BFA with the Heart of Azeroth neck you get immediately after draining your artifact. To level it, you collect Azerite through similar means you did artifact power in Legion. As you level it, your head, shoulder, and chest items will unlock passive abilities similar to how your weapon did in Legion, or more specifically how the Netherlight Crucible worked with different tiers of unlocks. The nice thing compared to Legion is that you can select talents based on your spec, meaning you don't need to level up three different artifacts for three different specs. BFA brings with it quite a big change to PvP. The Strand of the Ancients Battleground has been removed from the game, and Ashran has been temporarily disabled with no current date announced for its return. PvP Realms have been removed from the game as well. War Mode has been added in place of PvP Realms. This can be enabled next to your talent tree and at the moment only in Orgrimmar or Stormwind. When you enable War Mode, there's a few things that happen. First, you get to select four PvP talents that you can use out in the world. Secondly, in this mode you are granted bonus experience while leveling and additional rewards from world quests at max level. Finally, you are put into a world that is occupied only by other players that have enabled War Mode. Blizzard hopes that this change revives world PvP and allows people who were stuck on PvP servers who didn't like to PvP an easy way to not have to deal with the hassle. Honor level has been changed slightly in BFA. It is now an account-wide level instead of character specific, and all your characters' honor levels have been added together. So if you were honor level 20 on two characters, you will now be level 40. The Battleground Q system has also seen a bit of a rework. Ultrak Valley and Isle of Conquest have been separated into their own queue called Random Epic Battleground. Blizzard says they may bring back some of the larger maps from the past in this queue, so places like Wintergrasp, Tall Barad, and possibly Ashran. With this change, they've also removed the ability to blacklist battlegrounds. And lastly, for PvP, Conquest points have returned to the game and they're a reward for doing PvP activities and a currency for PvP gear. Island Expeditions have been introduced to the game and are similar to scenarios back in Pandaria. You and two other players are required to collect more Azrite than the opposing faction. There's different difficulties that you can try, there's Normal, Heroic, Mythic, and a PvP mode where you compete against real players of the opposite faction. Winning grants you Azrite. On top of that, there's a weekly quest to collect a certain amount of Azrite in Island Expeditions, which rewards you with Azrite for your Heart of Azeroth. Off. Warfronts have also been introduced and are inspired by Warcraft 3's RTS elements. In Warfronts, you play alongside 19 other people and secure bases, establish a supply income, contribute to the construction of buildings, create an army, and try to successfully assault the enemy's stronghold. Essentially, you're playing an RTS, but you're doing so from your character's perspective, not a top-down perspective, and you also don't get to control the troops you train. Other changes include a redesign of the guild window. You can now read messages sent while you were offline and create additional channels. This is also now the community tab where you can make groups. I imagine there'll be groups for specific classes, achievement hunters, PvPers, and a whole bunch of other things. Pet charms have been renamed to shiny pet charms and remain a reward for pre-BFA pet content. BFA battle pet content will now reward polished pet charms. BFA pet content will use a new currency, and some older items will also use the new currency, specifically items that will always be useful, like the level 25 training stone or pet treats. Pets that were bought using the original pet charms will not require the new currency. That was a quick video on some of the things that are changing with the Battle for Azeroth expansion. As I mentioned at the start, these are not all of the changes happening with this expansion. These are just some of the ones that I thought were worth mentioning. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day!